It is back to school week here on KDKA and all week long we have given you stories that really help you to kind of start it off when it comes to your kids and what you're doing at home. Well, today it is the Pomp Plum Borough School District that is putting buses on the road, but many more districts will be joining them in about a week. I knew this morning John Shumway talked to bus drivers about the moment that concerns them the most. Yeah, and that moment is when the stop arm comes out on the side of the bus and the kids are either getting on or getting off the bus. It doesn't take long maneuvering a school bus through our neighborhoods to find out what happens when the amber lights start flashing. Well, sometimes people rush to get through them. A lot of people don't know what to do. They don't know if they're supposed to stop or keep going. The yellow or amber lights are just like a yellow light in a traffic signal. It, it's a really bad idea to try to rush through those amber lights. It's generally better to err on the side of caution and just stop. Getting the bus stopped is just a part of the process. You really have to watch when you make a stop that um, a driver isn't going to, you know, rush through. We make sure all traffic is stopped. Once we make sure that no cars are moving around us, then we can tell the children to come on or cross the street. You know, they're relying on people to stop for those lights so they don't get hit. It is very very scary to have someone flying through your reds when your children are getting off of the school bus. And it does happen. I have had many people run my reds. And when you see the amber lights come on, slow down and, and be ready to stop. Because the safety of the children is counting on you. Or as Jessica put it, it could be your child that's on that bus. Now, the buses have cameras that do assist in catching drivers who run the bus's red lights. The fine, $250, five points on your driver's license, and a 60-day suspension of your driver's license as well. It's a big, it's a safety there issue. Is. No people question about it. People can be hurt. Um, let's talk about, though, if it's a multi-lane road, because I think that some people get confused if you're on the other side of the road and the bus is stopping and you have multiple lanes of traffic separating you. Yeah, you do have to stop unless, and this is the big thing, unless there is some kind of a divider, a median, a barrier, a concrete barrier, a guardrail, something in the middle of the road that separates the two sides, then if you're on the opposite side, you don't have to stop. All right. That's good advice and something good to keep in mind. John, thank you.